Hi there, it's Pat Monson. Nice of you to join me for another episode of Dawn of Men. We'll get the time going so our little town can flourish again. Now, I want to start by thanking everyone who subscribed to my channel because while I record this today, we reached 350 subscribers, which is, well, just totally amazing to me. And I really enjoy it. So thank you very much for all that support. Thank you very much for all the nice comments I'm getting all the time. Really appreciate it. And uh, well, feel free to always comment if you have something nice to say, of course. But even if you have some criticism or some good feedback, always feel free to, to share it with me. I could always use some good feedback to get even better. And well, one of my goals would be this year to reach a thousand subscribers so that I can start to make a little bit of money from my YouTube channel to just buy new games and get a new computer etc so well, we'll see it would be, would be awesome if we could reach that so thanks everyone who's already part of the family and well let's get on to dawn of men we're building another hut which is nice I'm going to try and upgrade everything so that we don't have to worry about that anymore. We do have plenty of room, so that's a good thing. Workload's pretty high though, because they have to harvest, so I'm not going to rush into upgrading all our huts or tents to huts. Might take us a little bit more time to do that, to make sure that we complete the harvest, etc., before the winter. Now we do have plenty of food, so I'm not that worried about it, but I think it would be a good thing to um, yeah, get, get that going. Now one of the other things I want to get going is to start clearing out this area. And that's mainly, ooh, we have a trader, we'll talk about that area later, to adult female goat. Trade value 30, commission is low. So for 84, we can have two goats, and we can have a male as well. I think that's good for reproduction, I guess? Don't know if that's in the game, but that would be great. Alright. Let's hand in some stuff. And make sure that we reach the value that we need. We can make new stuff anyway, so... Yeah, that's it. All right. Well, we got the goats. And thank you. I, I can't remember who commented it, but thank you very much for letting me know that during the normal season, so when it's warm, the goats will roam around and later on they will get into the stables. I would really like to know that, and now I know it. So thank you very much. It was very good information. I do get a lot of very good information regularly, so those comments coming. It's really important for me. Alright, so this hut is coming along as well. Good. Still some materials we need to bring in, but we still have room for everyone, so don't worry about it. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to clear out this area from trees, and then I have to think what we can do there. Now, someone in the comment section suggested that we should do the farming here, and I do believe that this is a good area to do some farming. And it would mean that we could try and really close off this area. I was also thinking about just continuing the uh, fencing here. And just build a gate here or something. But this is just one place where they can get through. So if we build the gate... Yeah, but they can swim as well, I believe. So yeah, that's probably not going to work. So if we really want to close down the whole village, we need to use this area for uh, with a fence. But we'll see. Right, two more sleds are no longer usable, so I guess I should just get one or two. We'll just do three, since we have plenty of time and space and stuff. So that we... Ooh, 250 bread. That's another knowledge point. That's very good. But yeah, I'm still thinking about what to do and if I want to completely enclose my village or just keep it like this. And, well, then we have a small opening here but that is okay and if I do another fence here in this area then you're probably pretty well protected anyway so 
Yeah, I'm just not sure what to do with that. Now we have 50 logs, so it could be a good thing to continue our wall. Yes, that would be nice. Oh. Here we go. Let's just go straight this way, I guess. Something like this. Can they do that? I do believe so. Oh, that's that went wrong. That wasn't supposed to happen. Let's do this again. Let's just do it like this. All right, we'll do it like this. Yes, this is good. Let's go and build that. 100 leather outfits, knowledge point. That's good. We still have plenty of room for another hut, so let's upgrade this one as well. I do believe, yeah, we have plenty of space in our burial mount, so that's also not an issue. Everything is dried, so there's plenty of room in the dryers. Yeah, that's all going well. How full are the granaries? Well, they are pretty full, so perhaps... An extra... Oh, that's the wrong button. Perhaps an extra granary wouldn't hurt. And I'm thinking about spreading them over town. So that if you live here, you don't have to go all the way there to pick up some food. You can just get it right here. Right, workload's 59%, so that's pretty good. They are in here. Oh, they're going into stables. Perfect. Oh, they're bringing in food as well. Alright, four goats. And I guess they should be able to reproduce now, if that's in the game. I don't know, but if it is, yeah. Would be great. Alright, they're going to build that hut now. They need a log in here. Why? Oh, probably for fuel, yeah. Well, we still have 45 logs, so that shouldn't be a problem. Are they already chopping down trees here? Yeah, they did. They they already cleared. Oh, no, they didn't. Ha, huh, my mistake. Well, that's fine. I mean, we don't need a lot of logs right now, so that's okay. We'd probably already start to think about where to place the new gates. Defenses. So, yeah. Place one gate somewhere here. So that when you come from this side, they can't go out. So it should probably be somewhere here, I guess. And we should have a gate to enter that area. That will be nice. Our wall's going all the way there. So perhaps we should just build it right here. And then... Do something like this, I guess. Oh, yeah, let's just do it like that. All right. That should work. And we could probably delete that part. It will just run along nicely. Cutting down trees. Yeah, well, all the trees are gone, so that's not going to work. Let's just get rid of this one. This one does the same, so we can... Well, we can move this one. Put it right here, so they'll cut down these trees. That will be fine. Sled is no longer in use. Well, shouldn't be too much of a problem since we've got a few more already. But yeah, let's let's just continue with that. Alright, we have all the storage productions, etc. We don't have a cheese maker and we don't have an outfitter, I guess. I don't really need we don't really need an outfitter because we don't have sheep yet, but it's winter. We don't have that much to do. Built two weavers. I think that's good. And we'll build a cheese maker. Right. Oh, well, let's put the cheese maker near the goats, of course, because I think it should make cheese from goat milk. At least that would be my idea. Alright, let's build those buildings and see what they do. I mean, that won't hurt anyway. Just get them and see what they do. Well, they're building pretty fast, so that's good. 
And we should think about what to do with our next knowledge points. But we'll wait a minute. Workload's now 68%, so that's good. Not too much. They're quite busy. They're doing good things. New logs being brought in. That's also very good. Alright, so this is the outfitter. And it can make linen and wool. And it needs stuff for that. New human is joined. Alright, so we now have 42 people. Oh, we have a weaver. They can make both those kinds of stuff. We need wool or linen. Alright. Question is, how do we get it? Really sure, but we'll find out. I guess these are very good clothes. They keep you warm and they give you style, so I guess that will keep them happy. And we now have a cheese maker. Probably need cows to make cheese. That's probably it. I mean, goat cheese also exists, but I think we're going to need cows. 250 logs, one more knowledge point. We have nine knowledge points right now. Perfect. So we can either make a bridge, we can unlock pigs, which would be great. We can do pulse. That's interesting as well. Let's do that one. We survived another winter. Pulse domestication allows you to plant and harvest pulses. Pulses are usually harvested in the summer, so they're a good complement to cereals, which are harvested in the fall. So that gives us an extra food source, I guess. Right, so we should plant peas. Alright, that's too close. They would make a nice addition, I guess. 4x4, four four, yeah. Oh. Let's get rid of that tree. What else? Chickpeas, lentils. Is there really a difference? Does it matter which one you choose or? 3 by 4 yeah, that's fine. Oh, let's get rid of that stone. The trader has arrived. Probably one with a high commission now. Also a low commission. Oh, we can get a sheep. Oh, we can get a lot of sheep. One male and one female. 105. Well, that's expensive. How can we get to 105? Well, I guess we are getting there. Oh, that's already too much. Interesting. Well, give him some bread. That gives us sheep. Now, I do believe sheep can also go into the stable. I mean, why not? Should be able to. Perhaps I should get an extra stable soon. If they really start to reproduce. Of course, I have to remember where the stable was. I believe it was just right here. Yeah, there it is. Alright. Well. Let's build a stable close to the cheese maker. He's already making cheese. Oh, that's good. So I guess he did milk the goat then. Perfect. Granaries are a little bit empty now. Oh, this one's pretty full. Alright. Well, they're still very busy, everyone. And they're completing the wall section right here. It just doesn't... Add up towards the gate. That's the only problem I have with the system of walling in this game. That sometimes it's just a bit special. It appears you can turn walls into stone walls at some point. Ah, great. We'll do that at some point. Just not right now. Well, still doing a lot of logging, which is good. There's some hunting to do as well, or can we capture some animals? That'll be great as well. Let's check, what are these? Well, those are bison. Right, well... We don't really need a bison at the moment. What's he doing? 
Oh well, they're hunting, I guess. Well, my boar has escaped. Oh, that's fine. Let's see, are there some animals here that we can domesticate? There's a mouflon. Not really do anything with a mouflon. It, there's no icon that I can bring it in, so that's a thing. It's probably a wolf, yep. There's some peas. Is that mouflon? Alright, so no animals close by that we can domesticate, so let's just continue that. Get on speed 4, yes. Always have to check that every now and then, because otherwise we won't be on speed 4 anymore. Probably continue our defenses into the... not into the water, but at least towards the water. Alright, let's build it up until there. Let's get rid of this tree. And yeah, let's edit the workspace. We'll do it right there. This one should also move because we can't really get tannin into trees that aren't no longer there. Yeah, let's get rid of that one as well. Workload 60%. Alright, that's fine. Oh, we get 100 mutt, which also gives us a knowledge point. Perfect. Extra stable, almost done. Guy still making cheese. I'd say that's good, and we should be able to... Let's see, production. Weaver. The weaver should make stuff... Or from wool would we get from the sheep, so that should be it. That should all work fine. I just hope our sheep won't get altered by animals or something. I don't see our sheep anymore. Oh, there's one. No, oh, that's a dog. Alright. Well, I guess our sheep are roaming around then. It's a goat. It's fine though, I mean, they can just walk around, of course. I just don't see him anymore. We'll let them roam around. They're probably searching for food or something. Oh, there's a sheep. Nice. It's making wool perfect. Let's hope at some point, well, manage our resources. Is there a limit to animals? Doesn't appear so. I don't see animals anywhere, so yeah, I guess not. All right. Doesn't say how many animals we have. Oh, here it does. Perfect. Five dogs, four goats, two sheep. We have six animals that need shelter. Well... We have plenty of shelter, so that's no problem. All right. Let's upgrade this one, one be because I want more storage space. And I guess it's time to also maybe grow our village a bit more. So add a few huts to just grow a bit more. Perhaps that would be a good thing. Let's see, though. Oh, another boar escaped. Are the animals coming closer now? There's the ibex. Let's hunt it. There's a wild boar that is running away, but that's okay. Alright, so we need to close off this area, I guess. Let's edit this workspace, get rid of that trees, and then continue our defenses. And I think we also have to start thinking about whether we want towers or something like that. I guess that also has a purpose or a use, so... That alert gathering area. Fence open close. Oh, we can close the gate. Oh, that's interesting. Perfect. Then no one can come in. So I guess, I mean, I've never experienced this because I never built a fully walled city, but if we fully wall the city, then probably if raiders come and we close our gates and we have watchtowers or something, they can just 
shoot with the bows and arrows and kill the raiders. At least that would be great. Alright, let's get back to speed 4. Something bad happens, we'll probably get a notification anyway. Big storm in the midst of summer, but that's okay. We do have a nice village. Perhaps we do need an extra haystack. Just for food. So let's do so. Let's just hope it won't get hit by lightning or something. Well, this area really works. Workload's still pretty good, so this is probably also the time to build a few more huts. Perhaps we can do it something like this. Just built, I don't know, a f not a funeral or anything. We could build a totem here, we can build a fire here, so we have extra... Some sort of new small city center or something like that. I think that will be good. Well, there they go. Workload's now 83%. But that's fine, since we have plenty of people. They can build pretty quickly now. It really starts to feel more and more like... A true small little village. Up so far it didn't really feel like it. You would also just get a bit of feeling that it's it's just... I don't know, a very, very, very small settlement with a few things in it. And right now, yeah, I do believe... Ooh, we can get an Ibex. Let's capture that one. But yeah, it, it really feels... Much more like we are actually playing a shitty building game at the moment. Ten milk. Knowledge point. Perfect. Let's see, because they were going to capture this animal. Please do so. Can't capture the big one, but we could capture the small one, so... Let's capture this. Oh, that's already dead. Alright. Come on. Who's going to capture it? There it is. Oh, we built three hearts. Which is the fireplace, and now we got an extra knowledge point. I guess we did capture the animal. Five goats, two sheep. Well, apparently not. Oh, it's probably goat, so yeah, we have now five goats, we had four. Alright, so that's good. We got an extra animal. So we need to keep an eye out for new animals. Ooh, a mouflon. We can you can capture the kids. You probably can't capture the big ones. No, you can't. Alright. Well, there they go. So keep going. Capture those animals because that's really cheap. You have to buy them all the time. That's pretty expensive. Fifteen huts. We got an extra knowledge point. We have seven points again, so perfect. What should we get now? Flax. Pick domestication. Knowledge building. Or stilting for a bridge or donkey domestication. Oh, then we can... We probably need it all anyway. Need it for a well and a high power. Don't see a well anywhere here, so probably can build a well if we do this. Well, let's get... Yeah, let's do that one. We need to do them all anyway. Whoa, that's a lot of messages. Allows you to make wells which are more efficient than having to go collect water from the nearest lake or river. Alright, so we're going to build a well. Animal population reached 15. Knowledge point plus one. New animal was born. A goat. Perfect. We have a baby goat now. The trader has arrived. Oh boy, it's pretty busy. Low commission, that's nice. Yeah, sheep. I don't really think I want sheep. I would like some wool, though. Really trade that. 
for some skins, get wool clothing. And that's supposed to be better clothing. Let's give him some meat. Alright, that's it. Perfect. I think this is good. Alright, production. There's the well. Alright, let's build a few all over town. So people can get water anywhere. And maybe it's also needed if you want to extinguish a fire or something. I don't know. They are making nice clothing right now, which is perfect. Two humans joined our settlement. We are now 46 people. We have room for 64, so quite a few extra can come in. Alright, oh well. Perfect. They can gather water there now, so we can get rid of this one. Perfect. Well... No more areas assigned for the well, so that's good. They're drinking, perfect. They're harvesting everything, which is also really good. I do you believe we need quite a bit of hay? I don't think you can assign an area where they will go and collect hay. But we need it for our animals, of course, to feed them in the winter, so let's keep an eye out if we really can do that. Oh, he's building a lot of clothing. Producing, I have to say, I guess. Building clothing doesn't really sound right. Alright, let's move this area to right there so they can cut that tree. Workload's 52, so that's not an issue. We can complete this wall. And that would mean that we are pretty much defended, I guess. Let's do so. Alright, a wooden platform or a watchtower. Guess. We can build a few watchtowers. Probably at our gates, I guess. At least to start with. And then we can... Oh, wrong button. And once we have them at our gates, we can probably build them on different areas as well. But now building them close to the gates should be fine. Interesting. Oh, I would like to see them. Alright, ten wallet outfits. Sam Gold died. Okay, that's his problem. Do we have space in the burial mounds? Yes, we have, so that's not an issue. Still have plenty of food. So, with winter underway, that's not a problem. Ooh, he is shaving the sheep. That's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Cool, I like that mechanic. Ten cheese, perfect. Now bring, bring oh there's just, just one wool from a sheep. Alright, so you don't get like a lot of it. Alright, first watchtower is done. Which gives us a knowledge point, so we already have five again. There it is. Well, I guess people will get in as soon as I alert them. So we'll have to keep that in mind to alert them when need it. Perfect. So I guess all good things come to an end. So this episode's also coming to an end. We did quite a bit. We we almost have a completely walled city. We grew. We had a few extra huts. We're now making cheese. We can make woolen clothing now. So yeah, let's get ready for the next step, which could hopefully be in one or two episodes we can get to the Copper Age, which I've actually really never have been to. So... I'm really looking forward to that. If you have any tips or other feedback you want to give me, please feel free to do that in the comment section. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. And of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.